Good afternoon, Rich Nass, Embedded Computing Design. I am in the Cypress booth with a very special guest. I have Hassan, Hassan Al-Khori, who is the CEO. Uh, do, we, do, do we say new CEO anymore? No, I think that ended day two. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, thank you for joining me. Um, so here's a topic that I'd like to take you through. Um, IoT is like, I don't even know what IoT is anymore. It's This is connected to that, it's, it's about security, it's about safety. Um, and I know it's a space that you guys play in all the time. I'd like to take this, the term IoT, and sort of put it off to pasture for now. Let's talk about what it means to have stuff connected. Do you see the same thing? Is it a term that doesn't mean anything? How do, what's the right way to have things connected safely, securely? Sure. Uh, so I think from my perspective, IoT is a capability more than a market, more than you know anything that you think about mm -hmm. as, as in the traditional way. What is that capability? That capability is enabled by connectivity. And if you break down the word internet, it starts with the internet, you have to have connectivity. Mm -hmm. Things could be a car, that's the auto market. Could be a wa you know, washing machine, mm -hmm. could be a factory automation, that's industrial. Or it could be a smart speaker, that's your consumer. So those markets are still there. The mm -hmm. IoT is the capability that gets them on the internet. So it's not a market all right. by itself. And you generally don't care what the medium is, just connect. That's right. And we have you know multiple connectivities because from a user experience perspective, you know you have the Wi-Fi, uh, you have the Bluetooth, Bluetooth BLE. We address all of them here at Cyprus, and the more important one is the coexistence of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo, which is the next level of experience that are in products that are happening today and in the next few years. If you guys get that one right, that's a pretty big advancement because I have not seen that done well. The whole Bluetooth mesh thing is still trying to be figured out and how, how it coexists with, with, with other uh, other protocols. I'd love to see you guys get it right. Well, I can tell you, the, the beauty of it is, I have data show we did get it right. Uh, our, our business for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth combo uh, chip was at the time of the acquisition, which was 18 months ago. 25% uh, of revenue, now it's 50% of the revenue for our connectivity business. So we know already the, the market is going there, you know, with doubling that as percent revenue, when the whole business actually grew, oh, uh, about double from the time of the acquisition. And the proof point for mesh specifically, BLE, because it is a new mm -hmm. thing that's displacing the Zigbee, traditional Zigbee meshing, uh, our big customer, Ledvance, actually adopted it already in a production light bulb, and that's available in the market as of last quarter. You saying Zigbee's going away, be replaced by Bluetooth mesh? Uh, it will, yes. You know we're being recorded here, right? Yeah, no problem. I've, uh, I've said it multiple <laughs> times on our earnings call. Um, uh, I look at the data uh, from just market data, but also look at data from customers. I look at trends of design in. Uh, the difference and why I say this comfortably is today everybody needs a hub to connect to the mesh whatever the mesh is you need to access it in your pocket in here in my pocket this is exactly what Bluetooth as a hub is mm -hmm. it's already there. the ecosystem is there just plug it into an existence and the fact that it wasn't before was because of mesh and now that mesh is on BLE that will start setting the stage I'm not saying it's six months mm -hmm. or 18 months saying over time because mm -hmm. there's infrastructure that has already right. been built but yeah the future is bluetooth the future is wi-fi and even better when they're combined together can't wait thank you very much absolutely thank you